come back to uh, 20 or go back to 2021, uh, a a class where we know their space. You know, we kind of looked ahead and 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 projected the the number of spots that uh, you know they may have at their disposal. I think we settled on like six. Uh, and and so, what does that look like from the in state sense? And there are a couple of guys. There are really only two guys left, Josh, that they're pursuing on the in state scene. Uh, the Pierre Brooks is is committed to Michigan State, uh, and that's uh, Jaden Akins. Uh, you know, from 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 over there in Farmington, and, and then Kobe Bufkin from over there in Grand Rapids. So let's start off talking about Jaden Akins, a six three. I want to give him. I'm gonna be generous and give him about 170 pounds. You know, point guard, combo guard, uh, a guy that can get buckets. Rated uh, the number 89 prospect in the country, according to our guys at 24 seven, the number 12 point guard in the country. Yeah, uh, you know, recently took a virtual visit with Michigan earlier in the month. I uh, spoke to our Bryce Merrick um, about that visit. Uh, also, I've, I've spoken to him, too, a little bit. Um, you know, Michigan's pushing really hard for him, as is Michigan State. And, you know, you can see the, the general theme for both of these guys is that, you know, this is this is more than likely going to be a Michigan-Michigan State battle. However, both aren't really in a rush to really – you know, whittle things down in terms of lists or, or, you know, ending recruitments anytime soon. So that's kind of the main thing with Jaden too, is that, you know, he, he appreciates, you know, the love from, from Michigan and, you know, how they're pushing for, you know, the, the family atmos- atmosphere and how he'll be used and as is Michigan state. And then they've got the Pierre Brooks factor as well. Um, they used to be teammates together on the family AAU team. So, you know, they've got that, that connection there too. So, um, I think the major takeaway from Jay Nakins is that, you know, from, from my perspective, and it's just my opinion, that it's going to be a Michigan-Michigan State battle. However, he is not in a rush to kind of make a decision between the two programs or, or any program for, for that matter. Because you got Louisville, who's, who's coming in strong too. DePaul's also coming in strong. So there's a lot of uh, – he's got a lot of suitors and a lot to kind of – pick and choose from, um, you know, and, and he's got plenty of time with, without these uh, on-campus visits. So it's a, it's a wait-and-see game, but, you know, there's no doubt that Michigan is, is absolutely prioritizing. Yeah, you, he got the offer before, before Kobe Bufkin got it, but I, I, think, I don't think people should read into that, that, oh, they just like, like Jaden more. I think they like them both equally. I think it was a matter of Juwan saw Jaden before he saw Kobe Bufkin. Now, you know, you got Sadi on both on both guys. Sadi yep. Washington on both guys. 